Welcome back to 242 Math. I am your host, Raphael Thompson. And this is one I will put on for grades 5 and 6 upper primary. Today we're looking at the metric system. Yes, this is an introduction to the metric system for upper primary students. So here we go. The metric system is a system of measurement, and I need you to use this mnemonic device. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. This is a base 10 system. And keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. The K is for kilo, the H is for hecto, D is for deca, U is for the unit, D is for deci, C is for centi, M is for milli. From the unit to the left, you're going up. From the unit to the right, you're going smaller. You're getting smaller. The metric system is used to measure length. And we use meter to measure length or distance. For measuring weight or mass, we use the gram, denoted by G. And for capacity or volume, we use the liter, denoted by a capital L. Those are the base units. Length or distance, let's examine that. Remember, keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. So if you're moving from millimeter to centimeter to decimeter to meter to decameter to hectometer and to kilometer, you're going up. If you're moving the other way, you're going down. You're going up in multiples of 10 or going down in multiples of 10. So the kilometer would be the largest unit. The millimeter would be the smallest unit. Let's look at kilometer for a while. Remember, kilo, K, is 1,000. So one kilometer is denoted by KM. You're looking at a map of Saudi Lutra, you have settlements of Waterford and Wimsys Bight. The distance between Wimsys Bight and Waterford is about one kilometer. So you use kilometer to measure distances that are pretty long. Length, L keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One kilometer is how many meters? Go to kilometer and you have to move to the right three places. So you're multiplying by a thousand or you're moving the decimal point three places to the right. So one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Okay, keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One hectometer, how many meters? Go to hectometer, you move two places to the right. So you're multiplying by 100 or you're moving the decimal point two places to the right. So one hectometer is 100 meters. One decameter is how many meters? Go to decameter, you move one place to the right, add one zero or you multiply by 10. Move the point one place to the right. One decameter is 10 meters. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One meter is how many decimeters? Go to meter and move to decimeter. You move one place to the right. Add one zero. Multiply by 10. Or move the point one place to the right. One meter is 10 decimeters. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One meter is how many centimeters? Go to meter and move to centimeters. Two places to the right. Add two zeros and multiply by 100. Move the point two places to the right. One meter is 100 centimeters. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One meter is how many millimeters? Go to meter, move three places to the right. So you add three zeros and multiply by 1,000. Or move the decimal point three places to the right. So one meter is 1,000 millimeters. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One centimeter is how many millimeters? Go to centimeter, you're moving to the right. So you, you'll add one zero and multiply by 10 or move the point one place to the right. One centimeter is 10 millimeters. And you see those measurements on your ruler. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. 3,000 millimeters is how many meters? Now you're moving in the opposite direction. You go to millimeters, move three places to the left. So you're dividing by 1,000 or you're taking away three zeros or moving the point three places to the left. So 3,000 millimeters is three meters. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. 500 centimeters is how many meters? Go to centimeters, you're moving two places to the left to get the meters, so you're dividing by 100, or you're taking away two zeros, or moving the point two places to the left. So 500 centimeters is five meters. 8,000 meters is how many hectometers? Go to meters, and you're going two places to the left, so you take away two zeros or divide by 100, so 8,000 meters is 80 hectometers. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. For length, the meter is can be related to the meter stick your teacher used in class. The meter stick is one meter long. Or if you stretch out your arms, the distance from hand to hand is about one meter. That distance should be about one meter. So that gives you a good idea of the standard unit for length. Length. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One centimeter is pretty small. Look at your fingernail. The length of your fingernail is about one centimeter long. So that's not very big. 
keep in bringing up dark chocolate milk. One millimeter is even smaller. So look at the width of a dime or any coin. That's about one millimeter. The width of it is one millimeter. So that's pretty small, like your fingernail or the tip of your pencil. Now we move to weight or mass. Weight is the amount of matter something has and can change depending on gravity. Mass is the amount of matter in something and it always stays the same. Keep in drinking up dark chocolate milk. For weight or mass, we're using grams. So you use kilogram, hectogram, decagram, gram, decigram, centigram, milligram. Kilogram would be the largest and milligram would be the smallest. The gram is the standard unit. And one kilogram is about, if you have a liter of bottle of bottled water, drinking water, that weighs about one kilogram. The one liter bottle of water that you drink is about one kilogram. To keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk, one kilogram is how many grams? Go to kilogram, you move to the right three places, so you're multiplying by 1,000, adding three zeros, or moving the point three places to the right. So one kilogram is 1,000 grams. So you're moving from large to small, so you have to multiply, you get bigger units. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One hectogram is how many grams? Go to hectogram, move two places to the right. So you're going from large to small, so you're gonna get bigger, so you multiply by 100 or add two zeros. And one hectogram is equal to 100 grams. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One decagram is how many grams? Go to decagram, move one place to the right, one zero, multiply by 10. One decagram is 10 grams. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One gram is how many decigrams? Go to gram, move one place to the right, add one zero, multiply by 10, move the point one place to the right. One gram is 10 decigrams. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One gram is how many centigrams? Go to gram, move two places to the right to get to centigram. That's two zeros, so I multiply by 100. So one gram is 100 centigrams. You're still going from large to small. Keep in drinking up dark chocolate milk. One gram is how many milligrams? Moving to the right three places. So you multiply by 1,000 or you add three zeros or move the point three places to the right. So one gram is 1,000 milligrams. Keep in drinking up dark chocolate milk. One centigram is how many milligrams? Go to centigram, you move one place to the right, so you add one zero, or you multiply by 10, or you move the point one place to the right. One centigram is 10 milligrams. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. 3,000 milligrams is how many grams? So you're moving in the opposite direction. Go to milligram, you move three places to the left, so you're dividing by 1,000, or you're taking away three zeros. So 3,000 milligrams is three grams. Remember, you're going from small to large, so you're gonna get smaller units. 3,000 milligrams is three grams. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. 500 centigrams is how many grams? Go to centigrams, you're moving to the left, so you're gonna be dividing by 100, or you're taking away two zeros. So 500 centigrams is only five grams. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. 8,000 grams is how many hectograms? Go to grams, you move two places to the left, so you're dividing by 100, or you're taking away two zeros. So 8,000 grams is 80 hectograms. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. A paper clip weighs about one gram. So the, the normal paper clip that you use, that's about one gram in weight or mass. So that's pretty light. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One milligram is even smaller. A dollar bill or a small feather weighs about one milligram. So that's pretty small and the weight is just about nothing like cotton. So a dollar bill and a feather. There you have it, one milligram. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One ton, oh yeah, one ton is 1,000 kilograms. 1,000 kilograms is one ton. So a small car weighs about one ton. That's 1,000 kilograms. Capacity or volume. Capacity is the amount of material that something can hold. Volume is the amount of space in an object. A bit different, but for primary school, 
we'll say it's about the same. Keep him drinking up dark toilet milk for capacity is the liter, so it's kiloliter, hectoliter, decaliter, liter, deciliter, centiliter, milliliter. The largest would be the kiloliter, the smallest would be the milliliter. And the unit is the liter. Kiloliter, kilo remember is 1,000. One kiloliter is denoted by K capital L. A one kiloliter inflatable pool is shown there. So, so that's that will give you an idea of what one kiloliter of water is. Capacity, keep in drinking up dark chocolate milk. One kiloliter is equal to how many liters? Go to kiloliter, move three places to the right. So you add three zeros or you multiply them by 1,000. So one kiloliter is 1,000 liters. Remember, you're going from you're going from large to smaller units, so you would get you would have to multiply. You're going to get bigger numbers. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One hectoliter is how many liters? Go to hectoliter. You're moving two places to the right, so you're adding two zeros, so you're multiplying by 100. So one hectoliter is 100 liters. Remember, use capital L. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One decaliter is how many liters? Go to decaliter, you move one place to the right, add one zero, or you multiply by 10. One decaliter is 10 liters. You use capital L so you won't get confused with I. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One liter is how many deciliters? Go to liter, move one place to the right, or multiply by 10, add one zero. So one liter is 10 deciliters. Don't get deca and deci confused. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One liter is how many centiliters? Go to liter, you move two places to the right, add two zeros. So one liter is 100 centiliters. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One liter is how many milliliters? Go to liter, move three places to the right, so you add two zeros, I multiply by 1,000. One liter is 1,000 milliliters. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One centiliter is how many milliliters? Go to centiliter, you're moving to the right. So you're adding one zero, you multiply by 10. So one centiliter is 10 milliliters. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. 3,000 milliliters is how many liters? Go to milliliters, you're moving to the left. So you're dividing by 1,000 or you're taking away three zeros. 3,000 milliliters is three liters. Remember now you're moving from small to larger units, so you're going to get smaller numbers. So 3,000 milliliters is only 3 liters. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. 500 centiliters is how many liters? Go to centiliter, you're moving two places to the left. So you are taking away two zeros or dividing by 100. 500 centiliters is 5 liters. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. Eight. 1,000 liters is how many hectoliters? Go to liter, you're moving two places to the left, so you're taking away two zeros, or you're dividing by 100, so 8,000 liters is 80 hectoliters. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. One liter, this water bottle has a capacity of one liter, so the one liter bottle is actually one liter. So the one liter water bottle, that shows you what one liter is. Keep him drinking up dark, dark chocolate milk. One milliliter, if you in the kitchen, you have the kitchen measuring spoon, one of them has a capacity of one milliliter, the small, the small one, that would be one milliliter. So that's not very much. Keep him drinking up dark chocolate milk. So you're using now comparison, kilo, hecto, deca, unit, deci, centi, milli. Use less than, greater than, or equal to. So do A, B, and C for me. Look at A, one kilometer, compare it to three meters. B, two milligrams, compare it to one gram, and C, three kiloliters, compare it to 3,000 liters. Let's see what you would put. Let's see if you can get these three correct if you're comparing units. Um, I put them there to help you. Here we go, these are your answers. A, one kilometer, and, and three meters. The smallest would be three meters, so you point it to the three meters. So one kilometer is greater than three meters. 2 milligrams and 1 gram. The smallest is 2 milligrams, so you point it to that. So 2 milligrams is less than 1 gram. And 3 kiloliters and 3,000 liters, same thing. So they're equal. And here is your quiz. Let's see if you can get these correct. I have the units up top to help you. Number 1, 5 kilometers 
is how many meters. So remember what you have to do, five kilometers is how many meters. Remember the unit in the middle would be the standard unit, so that's where meter would be, and work it. Let's go to number two. 400 centimeters is how many meters? 400 centimeters is how many meters? See if you can get this correct. Use the headings I have at the top to help you if you need it. 400 centimeters is how many meters? Number three. Three grams is how many milligrams? Three grams is how many milligrams? Remember, the gram would be where I have unit. So you can figure out the rest. Three grams is how many milligrams? Number four. Two decaliters is how many deciliters? Two decaliters is how many deciliters? See if you can work that out. And number five, your last one. 2,000 milligrams is how many grams? 2,000 milligrams is how many grams? Remember, grams would be where I have unit. 2,000 milligrams is how many grams? Work that one out. Let's see if you can get five out of five for that quiz. Here we go. Here are your answers. Number one, five meters. Five kilometers is 5,000 meters. 400 centimeters is four meters. Three grams is 3,000 milligrams. Two deciliters is 200 deciliters. 2,000 milligrams is two grams. Hope you got five out of five on that quiz. If not, go back over and see if you can get all of those correct for an introduction to the metric system. Thank you all for watching. And remember, if you didn't understand, go back over. Make sure you understand the metric system. This is an introduction.